We're the Higbees. I'm John. I grew up in Alaska. My grandpa got me my first yo-yo when I was 10. Now I'm up to a thousand and counting. I'm Rebecca. I grew up in Maine and I can hula hoop like nobody's business. Once upon a time we met, fell in love, got married, and moved into a big pink house. Now we're the yo-yo people and we travel around the world giving people something to smile about. Some people think that makes us a force of good. We like the sound of that. Our weapons of choice? Yo-yos, hula hoops, a puppet with an attitude, and a unicycle. Our ride? A new Beetle convertible, Salsa Red. We're about to hit the road for our first New York City performance. Along the way, we'll stop at some great old diners, buy tacky souvenirs, and befriend toll collectors, all in the name of good. Hope you can tag along as we go around the world, or 400 miles of it at least. My name's Rebecca Loomis Higby, and uh, I am the yo-yo chick. I'm John Higby, the yo-yo guy, and together we are the yo-yo yo people. people. We're about to go on a road trip. We're way excited. We're gonna head down to Woodstock and New York City. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my small but um, very well-loved yo-yo collection. Yo-yo from 1927. It's about a $600 yo-yo. I also have our own signature yo-yo, and they hand-painted each one. This one right here, it's made out of magnesium. It's extra smooth surface. Our other job when we're not yo-yoing is to make magnetic art for cars. This is our house, which we love. This is our cat. Here's our living room where we practice. This is our little nook. This is where we sit and look at each other. You still want to go, right? Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Moody will be accompanying us on the trip. He likes to tell us how to drive. So this one fits conveniently in my trunk. I hand painted this toy chest. It's like nail polish. We're gonna be traveling today in a Volkswagen convertible. Salsa red. Looking for a breath of fresh air? Hit enter to see how it all happens. I don't know which hoops to bring. Bring so them both. Voted on all four hoops. iPod, also <laughs> the big wheel, 36 inches. I don't know how to write it. Every cat needs topiaries. Through the hoop. He did it. <laughs> I'm ready for a road trip, are you? Let's go. We're getting packed up to go. We spend a lot of time on the road, so we've got it down to a science now. Up and over. Rebecca, still over back. Do you want to get a coffee before we head out of town? Yes, I think I need one. Here we go. See ya, house. Welcome to Newburyport. We have some wicked old houses. We live in Newburyport, a coastal town north of Boston. There are lots of tourists, so it's a good place to perform. We get great crowds here. We're just about to hit the road for New York, but first we want to get some coffee at our favorite little coffee shop down by the harbor. Customer parking. That must be us. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? We're going on a road trip. We thought we'd get some coffee. Please. No decaf today. Let's go. Affirmative. We're about to get on 95. Do you want your hat? Yeah, I'd love my hat. Getting on the mass pike. Rest stop. John has found a bouncy ball pinball machine. A green one is cool. Bouncy ball. Millberry boys got. It's a hot one. Now that we're stocked up on cold beverages, we're trekking west on the Mass Pike to visit our friend in Northampton. He's a yo-yo guy, too. Another VW convertible. Hoping to find a two of a kind. Dr. Moody will be paying the toll today. Oh, oh no! Sorry. Sorry. That will be the last time Moody ever gives a toll. Who is this giant guy? Is that Abe Lincoln's brother? It's Gabe Lincoln. Where are we? We're driving into downtown Northampton, an artsy college town in Western Mass. There are a bunch of schools right around here. Smith, Mount Holyoke, Amherst, UMass, and um, Hampshire. I always forget that one. We're heading to this great toy store to teach a yo-yo class with our friend Andre. It's actually called a learning store. That's just a toy store for smart kids. 
This place is like Yo-Yo Central. These kids come every week to hang out and learn tricks. And uh, they've taught us a couple of things, too. Oh my God. How do you do that? It's amazing. <laughs> All right, who wants to challenge? I always wanted hair like that. Whoa, these kids are good. I think we might have some competition soon. Oh, that was close. Did that make you nervous? I didn't see it, so no. It made me nervous. <laughs> well, we're heading out of Northampton. We'll spend the night nearby and head out for our next stop, Woodstock, early in the morning. We had a great time here today, so we'll be back soon. We are in a fine hotel outside of Northampton. It's a little early for us, but we want to get some breakfast and get on the road. We all need our space, especially when it comes to road trips. Click enter to learn more. Yeah, I was thinking we can go to the Miss Florence Diner for a little breakfast. Oh, that sounds good. Woohoo! This is day two of our road trip, and Rebecca's at the wheel. That's right, early day. Scared. Here we are at the Miss Florence Diner. It's been here since 1942. It's even on the National Register of Historic Places. This place looks great, and we are hungry. The steak and eggs and the corned beef. <laughs> Aren't you vegetarian? Yeah. You ready to order? Um. Florence. I think we've had enough diner coffee to put us into orbit, so we're ready to hit the road again. Today we're headed to Woodstock, the capital of love. L-O-V-E. We've got some time and it's a nice day, so we're taking the scenic route on Route 2, which is also known as the Mohawk Trail. Lots of music options, we like the sound of that. Hit enter to get the story behind the music. It follows a trail blazed by the Mohawk Indians, and it can get a little touristy, but we sure love our road trip souvenirs. Vicky, souvenir shopping. Oh no. No. <laughs> Thanks a ton. See ya. Thank you. Three hats, two postcards, and one glittery scorpion paperweight later, we're on the road again. Cute hat. Thank you. We're covering some ground now, going through the Berkshire Hills. When they say small town America, this is probably what they mean. We've been on the road for a while. So we're gonna stop and stretch our legs at this cool state park. New headlights and taillights, the better to see you with. Hit enter to learn more. My salsa red toes, they match the car. That was a good break. This part of Massachusetts is pretty rural, so we got our green fix before heading to the big city. Leaving Pioneer Valley. I didn't even know we were in it. <laughs> Florida. What wrong turn did we take? Okay, um, we're lost. <laughs> the summit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the convenience of an automatic and the race car feel of a manual? Click enter to see how they come together. <laughs> no one can pass that me now. Good. Entering North Adams. Hairpin turn 1,000 feet ahead. This is the world famous hairpin turn. It's active safety versus the hairpin turn. Click enter to see who wins. This one's become a real tourist attraction. There's even a restaurant where you can eat lunch and watch everyone freak out as they realize how sharp the turn is. We need a little private time. <laughs> where oomph meets efficiency. Click enter to get the engine story.
There are lots of great old diners around here, and I promised John we'd stop here on the way back. Now traveling still towards Woodstock. We're really moving along here. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> We're finally heading south on the Taconic Parkway, a really pretty road that heads through the Catskill Mountains to New York City. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Van Winkle Bridge. Speaking of Rip Van Winkle, it's getting late, so we'll probably stop for the night soon so John can get his beauty rest. We found the coolest motel near Woodstock last night. It's owned by Kate Pearson from the B-52s, and she's decorated the place herself. It's totally amazing. Hey, come on in. Hello. Welcome to our love shack. <laughs> Because we are at Kate Pearson's Lazy Meadow Motel. Look at this place. This is all vintage. This is real. Food freezer. <laughs> Blue and the detail of the counter and the chrome. It's like our dream kitchen, basically. It fits our theme, the round, like yo-yos. The lamps especially. We're like freaking out about yeah. lamps. This 50s space theme. Now we're just psyched to, to get to Woodstock. And then we're headed to New York City. After that, showtime. The car is ready, the crew is ready. Definitely, it's gonna be cool. Cool! <laughs> We're heading to Woodstock, so I think we need a little flower power. Let's get some magnets on here before we head out. John's looking both ways before he turns. Excellent driving skills, John. Seat belts are just the beginning. Hit enter for the passive safety story. Woodstock is getting close, but we need some gas. So right. we'll get some gas. And then on. on. There are those who drive and those who drive to the gas station. Hit enter to learn about fuel efficiency. Woodstock is probably known best for a concert that didn't even happen here. It was actually in Bethel a few towns over. But somehow Woodstock got all the fame and glory. Our daisy's still holding on. The bud vase. It's not just for flowers anymore. Hit enter to see why. We are now in Shady. Next stop, Dodgy. And then Sketchy. It's a great town, full of artists, musicians, and a few old hippies, of course. That's what they mean when they say local color. Speaking of which, we're heading to the Love Gallery. John really loves this guy's work, so we want to stop in and say hi. It's an old church he's done up as a studio space. Isn't it great? His name's Justin Love. Get it? Justin Love. Rolling Stones, that's awesome. Want me to show you some of my new paintings? Yeah, that'd be great. Amazing. El Toro. Justin painted a beetle for the local radio station here. Pretty eye-catching. Well, we love your art. Thanks for letting us take a look at it. It was great to meet him and see his work. Hmm, I hope he doesn't mind we didn't buy anything. Maybe next time. Nice one. We're getting back on the highway. And we're about to hit the George Washington Bridge. New York Bridge. City. John's first trip to New York was when we came here to do the David Letterman show. Yeah, that was great. I knocked a quarter off Rebecca's ear with the yo-yo. Dave liked that. We're heading down to Greenwich Village, where we're going to do our first New York street performance. We're not sure what to expect, but we have a lot of friends who perform down here. Okay, we're a little nervous. Rebecca's warming up, and we're almost ready to start. Hmm, how are we going to get their attention? Anybody want to see a show? What you're watching today is 15 years of no social life.
clapping. That's a good sign. There's always a gang of kids hanging out after the show, so we hand out a few yo-yos and teach them a few tricks. They catch on pretty quick. Nice. That's it. Now do that like 500 more times. Yeah. Ready to go Ready? home? Yeah. All right. It's got Pack. everything in there. This was a great road trip. We had a really good time in New York, and we'll be back for sure. But now back home. Uh, the direct route this time. <laughs>